this is Ari with Modern Telecom, here to talk to you about the Fanville phones. So on the left we have the X210. This is a receptionist or console phone with a um, paging um, microphone built into it. So essentially this is, this. instead of a speaker phone, you have a, a microphone that you're directly speaking into. So for high volume paging, or where you're using the speaker phone a lot, this is um, terrific. So some of the features you can do, we'll start with the, uh, the paging on this particular model here is we have an option for a push-to-talk page. With a push-to-talk page, that's named PTT, um, when you're holding down the button, then you can use the uh, the microphone to page and it'll come through the loudspeaker module. So over here we have the uh, Fanville um, paging adapter, which is just uh, hooked up to a, a speaker for testing. So if I do this, testing one, two, three, and when I release the button, it stops paging. So we've also set up some other buttons here that you can see if you like different options, but um, a uh, push once and then it stays paging until you hang up. This is a test page and you have to click the end button to stop the paging. So those are the kind of the two different uh, options for paging. Actually, sorry, there's a third as well, which is uh, paging through the PBX. When we page through the PBX, there it records the message and then broadcasts it afterwards. So for example, this is a page. This is a page. All right, so those are the different paging uh, methods. So from the other phones, we'll move over to this one here. Um, we've put the paging button here, and I, I have defaulted it right now to the um, push once and then uh, hang up button since there's no microphone on these phones. We did, I didn't uh, set up the push to talk mode on these. So we would push it once. This is a test page. That's how we'll work uh, the paging on uh, on those models. All right, placing a call um, or, or ending a call is basically you don't need to select a line. Just go ahead and dial the number. So if you know we, we were dialing extension two thirty, again we could just push the button to dial two thirty. We don't have to select a line first, or we can just type two thirty, dial, and it goes directly to that other phone. You also have a lot of um, speed dial functionality buttons here. When extensions are, for example, um, not available, so if I put a few phones here um, at the top here, I'll put them on Do Not Disturb, and it's hard to see on the camera, but their lights uh, will change to orange, so you know that those people are on uh, Do Not Disturb. And uh, if those people are uh, on a phone call, so uh, let's see, just here it's basically showing that this person is busy, or on a call, and this person is ringing, is, is receiving a call. So I'll pick up the phone, and now both are red to indicate that both of these two people are in a phone call right now. All right, there are a total of, um, I think, like 96 presets. They're by pages. So you can quickly get to another page of presets by pressing another page button. So now we're on page two, and we're on page three. We don't have any presets in here for the demo, but um, when you, as soon as you click your page, then you're, you're monitoring uh, that section of, um, of presets. You can use these... Um, these presets to speed dial into anybody, just clicking the button, and it immediately dials that person, and then you're talking to them. You can also use those speed dials for transferring calls. So, for example, if you are, if you're in a call, let's say you've received a call, and we want to now transfer this, this call to, uh, let's say we want to transfer it to this person here. So I'll just push transfer, and then I'll click that person's name. And that's it. it, says please hang up, so I can hang up the phone. And over on the uh, other phone, it's now ringing, but that's the call that was transferred. I'm gonna show you how to do a feature called an attended transfer. So unlike a regular transfer where um, you're sending the call directly to the destination and um, the destination person is just receiving the call without any type of introduction, an attended transfer is one where you can have a word with the other person prior to transferring the call over. So. For example, I'm going to uh, have an inbound call come into to this phone. All right. Once I've got that phone, now I want to uh, transfer it. So I'm going to start the transfer process, and I'm going to key in the uh, the person that I want to uh, to transfer to. But I'm going to use the option dial instead of transfer. So on that screen. So once I've dialed. 
Now what's happening is these two phones can have a little conversation amongst themselves and it lets you know on the screen that the, uh, the other party is on hold and you're talking to this person here on the bottom line. And when you're done introducing the person, you can then complete the transfer by pushing this button. So now it tells you, please hang up. So you're done on this phone because you've transferred it. And this phone now actually has the, uh, has the call that was transferred to them. I'm going to demonstrate another method of transferring a call. And that's basically called, it's more like a redirection. So if you're receiving a, a call to, to this phone, um, I'll just dial that. Okay, you're receiving a call and you know that this person is calling for somebody else. You don't need to take it. You can immediately forward it and push the person it's supposed to go to. And that's it. If you, it, you can hit OK, but if you wait a second, it'll just go ahead and do it anyway. And so that's it. It just tells you that it's forwarded that call over to, to another extension. And that's now on this phone. I could do the same thing here without even answering the phone. I could say, no, no, you know what? I want to forward that back to reception. Forward it to reception. And now I go back here and it's ringing again on reception. If I simply don't want to talk to this person at all, we can just hit reject. And that sends that person right into the voicemail. Next is I'm going to talk about parking spots. So this is if you've received a call and you want to have this uh, picked up on, a, on a, another phone. So if I, for example, I'll call in to, um, to, to this phone from, a, from another phone. So I'll just uh, use this um, speed dial here, which will ring to the reception phone. There we go. I'm gonna turn off speaker phone so there's not a lot of feedback. Now let's suppose we want to um, move this call over to another phone. We could transfer it or we could park it. So I'm gonna demonstrate parking first of all. I'm gonna go to speaker phone so you can hear what happens when I click park. All right, so the phone is disconnected and the parking light is now flashing red. If we go to a different phone, so I'll move over here to this phone, and we can see that also the parking light is flashing red. So that's letting everybody in the organization know that there is a call parked on that line. To retrieve it, we just need to push that parking spot button. And now we've moved the call over to this phone. We could do the same thing again on a different parking spot. And we could go over to a different phone and retrieve it. So there's the parking spot there that's flashing. All right, we've also programmed some buttons on these phones that say open door. And then we've got a couple of buttons over here for the uh, intercoms. So how I got to the screen is I push this button down here. It's like a page button. So it'll it'll choose choose a different page of buttons. So we're on page one right now. And there's a little yellow bar at the bottom left, which is saying we're on page one. So these are all the extensions. If we tap this again, it goes to page two of the buttons and then page three where we don't have anything right now. So on page two are all the... Um, the door intercoms, so you can call in. You can call out to the door intercoms. Once you are on the phone with a door intercom, if you want to let somebody in, you can just push the open door button. All right. When you're in a call, then pushing that door intercom button would uh, would let them in. So, for example, if I just push this door open button, there we go. It sends the touch tone automatically needed to uh, to open the door. On all the phones, there's a directory button. And if you push this, there we go, is you can scroll up and down the list for all the uh, ex numbers and extensions that are in the directory. You can also type in somebody. So, you know, K, and then it brings up all the people that start with the letter K. Um, once you move the cursor over somebody, you can then uh, dial that number. Okay, uh, call log. So this is your, in calls, out calls, missed calls. All right, so you can get to that all from the call log button. I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to access the Bluetooth settings on the phone. So if you want to use a uh, headset on the phone, then you would go into menu and down to basic settings, scroll down to Bluetooth, enter, um, turn on the Bluetooth, pushing right, enter, that activates the Bluetooth. And now we're going to scan for a Bluetooth headset. So we can hit scan. It'll find a Bluetooth headset uh, in pairing mode in the area. And then you would hit the link button. Now, I'm not going to pair to my Bluetooth headset because it's already on a on another device. But here it's found a couple of different uh, 
headsets in the area. So you would just click link at that point. Then that headset becomes uh, bound to this particular phone. Now you can choose whether to use a headset for a call by using the headset button down here. So when I push this, now the call is going to go out over the headset. And if I turn that off, um, the headset won't be activated. So you're able to toggle between, you know, lifting the handset, using the headset, or using the speakerphone by using this button. All right, the uh, process is the same on the smaller model phones here, the X6Us. So menu, basic, and to Bluetooth. And there's the menu right there for that.